Alright, after this day 25, right? Something like that, anyway. Um, yes, uh, re reproduction. So, this is, you know, the loaded word. Lots of ways to go with this. Obviously, it goes with the consumption thing. Consumption, reproduction, that's the basic nature. Uh, you can talk about the nature of the organism, you know, based on evolution, that that's what it is. It's a replicating molecule. We reproduce, blah, 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 blah. Simple mechanics. Um, more important elements to this word. Uh, yeah, tough to come up with, right? It's just a biological function built into a system that um, uh, negated existence, essentially. It made existence into just a perpetual experiment. So you can perpetually keep breaking what exists to uh, subtly modify it, and so you have to have this reproduction mechanism, or vice versa, the reproduction mechanism comes with this liability that you've got to destroy the old model. The old model's got to go because the new model is going to replace it so it can evolve into what? A more efficient reproducer, or more efficient defined by uh, environmental circumstances. Hmm. So the environment dictates the necessity, the environment dictates the uh, qualitative product. Um, so where do you go? Um, you can think about ancestors. Did my ancestors, they all reproduced, right? Every one of my ancestors, the genetic code, every predecessor to my genetic code was possessed by somebody who reproduced, something that reproduced. Um, do they want to? Was it their plan? Was it intentional? Were they happy about it? <laughs> Would they have done it again if they had the choice? Yeah, all good questions. Um, I'm sure a percentage of them, no, no, the answers would be no to some of those questions. Uh, it was all kind of a forced march. Um, just an obligation of the biology. Um, just a, uh, something that happens like a fart. Uh, yeah, it's just no use in it at all. Um, just got to do it. And um, so it's not good. It's fundamentally sloppy and messy. Um, so what about uh, this deliberate idea, this doing it on purpose thing, this somehow you need to do it. Somehow there needs to be another copy of your genetic code. It's hard to go anywhere with that, isn't there, that doesn't get in caught up in some sort of idiotic, <laughs> you know, self-glorification, some kind of nonsensical, I'm special bullshit, um, you know, uh, you know, especially in the context of, um, knowledge of the circumstance, um, you know, we have radically redu reduced our reproductive rate, so people have exercise control over their reproduction, and yet many complain or contend that somehow they can't control it, which is really funny because they quite obviously do control it. Um, somehow they can't control the first two or three or four, but they control five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And it doesn't make much sense. Kind of a bogus argument. Um, but yeah, so we have this really re radically reduced our birth rates. Um, what would naturally happen if you lived naturally without obstructing uh, reproduction from happening, um, and uh, um, so the question is, is well, what's you know, does it really matter, two point one or two point two, you know, going from two children to three children, it's the difference between the ex continued existence of the human race and the continued increase in population. You know, having sustainable population is really tricky to do. Um, I mean, it's tricky so far. We haven't figured out the magic of that one. I mean, it seems you're either declining or you're increasing. It's hard to get it just right. Uh, you know, and is what is just right anyway? What's the just right number? Um, and how many? You know, what 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 accounting is there for any of this in terms of what's lost if we don't do it? I mean, you think about the zillions of humans that would have been if, you know, my brother's 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 brother, you know, great-grand-brother or something, 
didn't die in a war, and he had his complement of reproducing uh, molecules. Um, we don't grieve for those dead, the could have beens. Um, so why would we grieve for the would bees that we create? Why? Why is the, there any? Um, well, how, how do we make these rational distinctions about some sort of urgency? Um, why is it necessary? And shouldn't it be necessary in the context of what life implicates? Um, you know, that's the different subject is the price paid. It isn't part of the necessary mechanism. The mechanism doesn't care about prices paid. Um, we can do that. We can figure out the economy, the economics of something. Uh, the efficiency of it, um, the necessity of it. But so many organisms have stopped replicating on Earth. They no longer make copies. They no longer <laughs> exist. And is it really that lamentable? The absence of the dodo bird? I mean, does it really make any difference? Is life fundamentally flawed because of it? Is existence degraded in some measurable, tasteable, feelable way? I don't think so. And uh, so I, that's the only context I can find for the word. Uh, we replicate because it's part of the mechanism. It's the thing that made us was this process of dividing in half, growing, dividing in half, growing, dividing in half. That's our origin. That's the spilt, original milk that's spilt. And we're just the residual. We're just the lingering spread of the what was started four billion years ago. Because a, uh, a molecular arrangement got too fat, and it, you know, and it broke in half, and the two halves survived. And, uh, yeah, so we're doing that still. And um, that's all there is, right? That's all the function part is. That's all the, the mechanics is. All of this, the entire structure exists to make me reproductive. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm not just a big giant phallic object, but I just mean that that's really everything. The whole game exists because of this process of making a copy that survives a future. Um, it competes and survives. And the standards for this, this victory are most times silly. You know, this guy got scarlet fever, this guy didn't. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's some standard for victory and failure is who coughed on you. Um, yeah, not much of a standard. Uh, so what else? So I guess I'll just leave it at that. Um, yeah, there's just not much else to make out of the word. Uh, producing, you can make something out of that word. Um, regeneration, I don't know. What, what is the, you know, you're not really regenerating. It's not you. It's a new thing. We sort of figured that out. Um, it's not going to be um, of the same character or value often. The genetics through sexual uh, reproduction is already diluted anyway. So the monstrosity created is often very distinct from the thing that created it. It's just as likely to be less than the, one of the two individuals reproducing you know, less beautiful or less physically strong or less physically this or that um, as it is to be more. Um, it's just crap shooting. It's just experimenting. Uh, pulling straws for victims for whatever. No really good reason. Just because you have a straw puller built in as a st structure has a, a machine that just pulls straws and you're just going to keep it because it's there. But that's what people do. Um, they don't uh, think much further than tradition. You know, our country plays football. <laughs> yeah, they play football too, but yeah, it's not soccer. Um, 
yeah, cricket versus baseball. That's all you got here. Just silly tradition. That's it. So we maintain a system. We maintain a, a, a lottery of production, creation. See, procreation seems a much better word. Maybe it should be the word used to describe what humans do because they do it on purpose. I mean, they don't just reproduce. They procreate. They uh, deliberately and with foreknowledge expose the new generation to its little role as little gladiator man or woman. Um, go into the world and see how many hearts you can break or <laughs> how many dollars you can steal or, you know, whatever. How many children you can rape. Uh, yeah. Hurrah, hurrah. 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 So, yeah, so maybe it should be consumption, procreation, cannibalism and addiction. But, you know, procreation is two syllables. Well, so it's reproduction. But this does slow down a little. Procreate. It has, it has a longness to it. <laughs> um, um, but, yeah, isn't that what it really is? So, Yeah. These aren't the value terms yet. These are just the mechanical terms. Consumption and reproduction. It's cannibalism and addiction gets to the value terms. Um, the consumption of value. And uh, the nonsensical, purposeless um, reasoning of addiction. <laughs> yeah. The reasoning of psychological need. As if that's good enough. That's all we need to justify anything is a psychological need. Mm, no. So, till next time. Touch. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm gonna hit the button. I'll hit it again, and what the hell? I'll hit it again, what the hell? I'll hit it again.